Hey everybody, how's it going? I am fired up today. Um, maybe it's the uh, 17 cups of coffee I've had today to keep warm, or maybe it's because we got another power saw on the bench. And uh, you guys know, I love me another power saw on the bench. Um, how's everybody doing this week? I had a good work week. Um, it's been cold. It's a little slow at work. We're a little behind because of the weather, but yeah, that's fine. We'll always catch up, right? Um, little update. I got the Super Pro 70 back together. It's got some air leaks and you know what I've discovered? It's been so cold. My moto seal isn't working. Even though I heat the shop up, um, that thing's got some air leaks in the intake. So we're going to cover that in a future video. Uh, as soon as maybe even tomorrow, I'll pull that down. Let's go over what I experienced. And, uh, once I put it together on film, you guys are going to, you'll hear it at the end. It doesn't come back down to idle as fast as it should. It's got a little bit of an air leak and it's the intake leaking. So we're going to do that. You guys have been asking about the 670 Echo. I haven't forgotten about it. It's been too cold. Um, I can't, I just can't assemble saws right now, but it's warming up starting tomorrow. So we'll be back in business and uh, back to our regular scheduled program. Stay tuned when we get this saw running and it's all good. Uh, I got, I got some exciting plans for this saw, so um, stay tuned for it. I'm really excited. Once this thing's all good and I, and I know it's, you know, I know it's not going to have any problems, um, we're going to do something fun with this saw. So there you go. Okay. So this is kind of fun. Um, this is a, we're going to call this, this is a Bakken Iron Horse Tin Man Project. Sounds like a joke, eh? A buck and an iron horse and a tin man walk into a bar. <laughs> that was cheesy. Okay. Um, this is a 266 XP, late 80s, early 90s. The tag's missing like often they are. This is buck and saw. Um, we were chatting about what, what I like to do next. And uh, I mentioned a 266. You know, this is a 266. My One of my favorite personal saws is a 266. Um, I like 266s, so he said, okay, I'll send you one. So about a week or two later, I'm not even sure when I got this in the mail, and uh, nice little saw, it's, it's all there, it's complete, it was a runner, and uh, I actually had a plan to just port this the way it was and send it back to him. Well, let's have a closer look, and uh, see what the deal is with this power saw. Here, I'll just bring you guys in close here. Here we go. Interesting dings on the handle. I have a feeling this thing was maybe hanging on a hook or something. Bouncing around. So here you go. This is what we're starting with. Ooh, nice and turdy under the hood. Just how we like it. I love saws like this. You guys are going to see. I'm going to clean this thing up real nice. And uh, this thing's dirty, but it ain't dirty. You know what I mean? Uh, these are the saws that clean up the best. So I took this thing down because I was curious. Um, we noticed we noticed a little rub action, uh, like like this flywheel was rubbing. It it wasn't rubbing when I got the saw, but um, we noticed there was something going on here. So. Here, so somebody actually took a grinder and ground this because this transfer was rubbing on this flywheel. This is definitely an aftermarket cylinder. Um, I don't know if there's the wrong flywheel on here or I got to run this part number. But uh, so right there I couldn't port this because this is so thin here now that I would just blow through there when I did my transfer work. So um, this is an aftermarket cylinder. Not a terrible looking cylinder. A lot of flash in there and stuff, but not the worst I've seen. That's probably chrome. Uh, it's quite worn. Not in the best of shape. So again, we're this isn't a cylinder we're going to port. It would probably run for quite a while. And uh, this was a running saw, but this cylinder, meh, not for porting. And then I wanted to show you guys this. So this is blow-by. You guys have asked about it. That's blow-by. You see that? That's gas getting past the ring, so the rings are starting to leak a little bit. Not as not terrible. 
uh, I've seen a lot worse than this. Here's your intake side. Now notice this, okay? See that shine there? Sorry, we'll bring you guys back here. There you go. See that shine on the bottom? Make note of that. That is the piston skirt is wearing, and this piston's starting to do a little bit of that. Okay? That's a sheer sign. Well, check this out. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that big chunk out of that exhaust port. I didn't find anything in the muffler, and it's like, it's not, it's not, you know, parallel with the bore, like it's been going up and down. It's like something was rattling around in there, or no damage to the ring. So again, I've never, it's like a part came out of the bottom and rattled around in there or something. I don't know. So right there, this, this bottom end looks fine. There's no, there's no play in the, in the crank. And again, these copper washed rods are, are a great thing because if this gets hot it turns blue or white uh, you know right away if these husky cranks are no good because you just look at it crank looks good but we don't know now like where did this come from so we got to do a bottom end on this saw we're going to split it new bearing seals gaskets we'll do that on video and uh i'm pretty excited i'm going to put you guys back in the tripod and uh iron horse sent us a package so I want you guys to check this out. What a good fella he is. Okay, friends. Uncle Harv sent us some parts. Didn't you, Uncle Harv? I'll get you back. You're a good man. I like that Harvey Drake fella. I like the whole Drake clan. They're, again, the, the friends that I've made from this uh, youtube -y thing, it's, uh, it's good stuff. I don't forget the people that are good to me. There's a lot of good folks out there. A lot of you... A lot of you folks that you know brighten up my day and uh, I'm just gonna put buck and saw down here put this we got all the parts to build that saw Uncle Harv sent us uh, some parts I was having a hard time getting parts and uh, with this whole thing that's been going on it's been a little rough going I'm not gonna lie um, you guys know things have been lost in the mail and Uncle Harv sent us some parts and uh, so we got, this box kind of came open and shipping. We have a highway, what do we have here? We have a highway 272 pop-up kit. Let's check this out. Uh, I haven't even looked at this. Uh, I got it the other day and I wanted to unbox this. Woo -hoo. Yeah, you know, guys, guys, check this out. I mean, here, first time I've ever looked, I've done nothing. Look how nice that cylinder is. Um, I gotta say, highway, uh highway is definitely up in their game this is a nice cylinder nice transfers now typically their upper transfers are a little bit lower but i mean they're i mean look at that there's like no flash chamfer is beautiful exhaust port and intake port look nice wow harf that's good stuff right there it's good to have friends i really appreciate you buddy let's check out this piston there we go. Got a uh, 52 millimeter pop up. Nice piston. Uh, over, you know, over the last while, uh, even, you know, I've been more and more impressed with Highway's quality. Um, they make good stuff. Um, if you're looking for Highway, uh, I know Harvey speaks very high, highly of Ryan at Wolf Creek Saw Parts. Uh, give him an email or a call. And, uh, you know, Harvey always says he's a good fella and he'll take good care of you. So, if you're looking for highway. What do we got here? We have a 372 Big Boar. Um, I've never done a 372 on this channel. I've done a 365. Um, I'm looking, poking around, seeing if I can find uh, a 372 carcass locally that I can build a saw on. So now we have a top end. And uh, same thing, nice looking cylinder. I notice Highway has really improved their crosshatch. Um, the last few I got weren't, uh, the crosshatch was very shiny. Not good for breaking in rings, so they've definitely upped their game. Thank you, Harp. Uh, if push comes to shove, I'll port the living snot out of this and I'll put it on my three or my two, 365 that I run. 
Uh, I really like that saw the way it is as a 48 mil. Uh, 52. Be interesting. I'd like to do one of my ported, uh, my ported 461 against a ported uh, 372 big bore. That might be an interesting deal. Sent me a carb and uh, a few other odds and ends that I've been needing. Uh, gaskets for that top end and intake. Thank you, buddy. So it looks like we got all the parts to build buck and a saw. But here's the guys, you gotta see this. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> you can hear the harps playing. Guys, this is a Wiseco forged piston for a 272. Um this is the nicest chainsaw piston I've ever held in my hands. There, we'll focus you here. Come on. There we go. This thing, I don't want to drop it. Don't drop it. This thing's beautiful. And it weighs nothing. This thing, this thing is so nice. I want to put this on the, on the coffee table in a little shadow box or something, but... You know, honey, but it's a Ford's Wise Co. Racing Piston. <laughs> I don't think I'd get away with that. <laughs> it is that nice, though. And it is light. It's got no windows in it, though. Harvey, I was asking him about these, and, and here, that's, there we go. It's got no windows in it. So, Harvey challenged me to do something with this, so I've been kicking around some ideas, but, uh, Let's try and put this in a 266 build. Why not? Um, let's see if we can make that work. That's a crazy, crazy little piston. Like, wow. Harvey, thank you, buddy. Uh, I look forward. You know, guys, Harvey's 266 builds, that Bucken runs, uh, Bucken and Hogan both have one. Those things are incredible. And uh, I'd like to try and throw one of my builds into the mix. And you know what's cool? Another, a fellow builder uh, is helping me out with this. A, a, a friend and a fellow builder, and, and that's cool. Um, I really appreciate it, Harv. Um, this is good stuff. So there you guys go. We have, wow, Harvey. I'll get you back, buddy. <laughs> I'll get you back. Let's get a pause, you guys, here. Okay, so there you guys go. So coming up, as soon as we're done the Super Pro and the 670, we're going to do a 266 build. I got a lot of builds planned for this summer. We're going to have some fun. Um, those of you that watch Bucking, he just mailed me three saws. We got a couple of Max, and what else did he send? 922 Super XL Home Light. Um, we've been kicking around... What if I could tin manize a 77cc home light like I did the 58cc? I'm going to give her a go. I don't know. But the only way to find out is to learn through your own experience. So I'm going to throw the kitchen sink at a 922 home light and, and see. Because that would be cool. If I could get, you know, that thing's, that's 20 cc's bigger than the little hot rod home light that I built. What could that run like if I could do the same treatment? And to tell you the truth, I've never put a wheel on one of those. I've never been inside one. So <laughs> we're going to do that on the channel. Uh, we got a couple of 1010 home lights coming. Home lights. I always do that, guys. 1010 McCullough's. Um, I really want to pour to 1010. And uh, he said, here, I'll send you two. So we're going to do this summer. It's starting with this. We had so much fun with that XL76. I was like a kid in a candy store. Um, being able to build a nasty saw like that and hand it to a guy that knows how to run a saw and is going to take care of it and have a sharp chain. Now there's no limits. So I'm super fired up because I'm going to throw the kitchen sink at the next five builds probably. And it started with that Super Pro 70. Um, I did all the go fast moves that I know to that saw. I haven't even turned it up yet. Um, that saw was really fat in that video. If you guys have noticed, it was fat. And you know why? The wood is so hard right now. The wood that I have to cut, the, the moisture in it is really high. And uh, it's frozen. 
it's hard to keep a saw from over revving in hard frozen wood. It's hard to get a good chip and put enough load on the saw. So through fear of grenading that thing, because you don't want it going 17,000 RPM or whatever it wants to do. I never turned it up in that video. I'm anxious to run that thing and, and see what it's going to do. And uh, when it's done, I think I'll send that. I'll put that in a box and send it to Nanaimo and Buck and you can have that saw, buddy. Um, I'm interested in feedback, guys. The more feedback I get from a guy that runs saws for a living, the better. And, uh, you know, uh, the saws that I have out there, I love that guys are running them every day because I get better feedback. I don't run saws every day and it, I, I'm the mechanic, I'm not the driver. I want to build nasty saws and see what they'll do. So that's what we're doing on the channel. Uh, I can't wait for you guys to, to join and follow along. Um, this thing is, we're going to try real hard to make this thing good. It has to be good because Harvey's saws that he builds like this are incredible. You can hear it. They just pull. So... I'm going to take a kick at the can. I've built many a 266. I'm going to take everything I know and turn it up another, you know, 20% probably. So, and if we can use this piston and have a lighter piston than the window piston, this could get interesting in a hurry, couldn't it? So there you guys go. I'm all fired up. Uh, we got to finish the 670. Super Pro 70 is like ready to go. I got two Max coming. We got this. We got a 922. Um, we got that 590 Echo build for, for Caleb and Taylor in Texas. We'll have that done. We'll send it to them and let them play with that. Um, it's an exciting time. I'm, uh, I'm all fired up. Even though it's Friday night and it's cold, I enjoy hanging out in the shop with you guys on Friday nights. I appreciate all of you that email. Uh, keep emailing. I'm going through them as good as I can. And... Uh, I take pride in answering as many emails as I can every day. And uh, I appreciate you guys for taking the time. Uh, Ron, thank you, Ron. My Canadian buddy, Ron, in Saskatchewan. Thank you, buddy. You guys haven't even seen that yet, but Ron, I'm looking for saws to experiment on, and it, it really takes me back. It really humbles me when you guys send me stuff to help the channel out. There's so many of you that are helping this channel out. It's it's awesome. Thank you all you guys. You guys know who you are. A lot of you help me out in the background and you don't you don't want anything for it. And I, I don't take that lightly. Um, time is the only non-renewable resource that we have. Anyhow, that's Friday night in the shop. I'm fired up. I'm all hopped up on coffee. You know, go juice and chainsawry and I'm super glad you guys came here. I can't wait for it to warm up tomorrow because I want to put some saws together in the shop. It's been a couple weeks and uh, I'm itching to build a saw or two. Anyhow, thanks for coming. As always, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Later, guys.